Calculate square root of 3 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 3 minus square root of 5. How shall I deal with this question? Very good. Firstly, now I'm going to substitute. I substitute A as our this guy and B is our this one. So A is square root of 3 plus square root of 5. B is square root of 3 minus square root of 5. And what we're looking for is A minus B. So now, how can we solve for A minus B? What I'm going to tell you is A and B have loads of relationships. Wonderful relationships. Now, consider A squared plus B squared. It's a very good hint. A squared is 3 plus square root of 5. B squared is 3 minus square root of 5. And you can see, square root of 5, square root of 5 can be magically cancelled. So, so it's just 3 plus 3 is 6. Then, let's have a look at their product, A times B. A little bit complicated. A times B is square root of 3 plus square root of 5 times square root of 3 minus square root of 5. Now, this one is just square root of 3 plus square root of 5 times 3 minus square root of 5. Oh, you can see x plus y times x minus y, which is x squared minus y squared. That means it is square root of 3 squared minus 5. 4. And square root of 4 is 2. So now we've got a squared plus b squared and a times b. So what we've actually got is a system of equations. And now we have to find a minus b. Easy. Look, if we square a minus b, so we have a minus b all squared, it is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. And we've already know that a squared plus b squared equals 6, and a times b is 2. So we just plug the numbers in, and 6 minus 2 times 2 is 2. So now you can see a minus b all squared equals 2. So what is the value of a minus b? Maybe you're going to say square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. Now, please have a look at our original term. Here is plus, here is minus. Square root of 3 plus square root of 5 is obviously greater than square root of 3 minus square root of 5. So, our result must be positive, which means that it has to be square root of 2. How simple that is. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and more wonderful methods. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!